All right, so a translation is just a slide around the coordinate plane. Okay, the nice thing about translations is they're, they're very, very simple, very straightforward. We're just going to take all of the points of my original pre-image, and we are going to move them based on the, the rule that was given to us, and that's where our new shape is going to end up. Um, when we're talking about translations, we are not going to change the size of the shape. We are not going to change the orientation of the shape, which means it's still going to be pointing in the same direction. So you're going to have a very good idea about... Uh, whether or not you successfully translated your shape. So here's a very simple example of a translation on the coordinate plane. I started off with this original ABC, right, and I decided to move all of the points six units to the left. So if you notice that, that, that my original, if I counted just to the left by six units from B to B prime, it go, it lands right on B prime, C to C prime, and A to A prime, and I end up with an exact duplicate of my original shape. We just took it and slid it to the left. By six units. Okay, so we're going to take a look at uh, a simple example. I'm given a triangle ABC, okay, and they've noted the vertices for us. Just to save a little bit of time, I pre-graphed ABC, but you may very well be asked to graph ABC on your own. Okay, so our job here it says to translate the triangle three units up and five units to the right, and then to state the new coordinates of A prime, B prime, C prime. Which remember that is just the new image. Okay, after the transformation. So I'm going to take each of my points, I'll start with A, which is at negative 6, negative 1, and it says to move it up by 3 and to the right by 5. So I'm going to take this and go up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I end up right here, and I'm going to call this A prime. Right? B is going to go up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that would be B prime. And C, I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, and to the right 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I would call this one C prime. Right? And again, if you notice, what's going to happen is this new translated graph okay, is exactly the same size, and it's pointing in exactly the same direction as my original graph. Okay? So we can now pull the points off and answer their question. The new coordinates for A prime, B prime, and C prime, we would say that A prime, it looks like, is at negative 2, comma 1. We can say that B prime is at 1, 0, and C prime, it looks like, is at 2, 3, 6, okay, 3, 6, okay, I believe that's 3, 7, let's try that, 3, 7, okay, so, <clears throat> now that I have my points, let's kind of do a comparison of my original points with my image points, the, from the pre-image to the image, so if you notice what happened with A, when I, I asked you to go up, by uh, three units, right? Three units up. Okay. If I'm looking at a coordinate that's an x comma y, and we think about which of the values, the x or the y, uh, works for my up and down movement, it's always going to be the y value. And if you take a look at the comparison from a to a prime, my a or my y value went from negative one to positive one. Okay. Negative one to positive one. I'm sorry, negative 1 should be going to positive 2. Let's fix this. This is the point negative 1, positive 2, right? All right so that's a good, better A prime. So let's try this again. If I'm going from negative 1 to positive 2, it looks like I increased by exactly 3 units. If I go from negative 3 to 0, I increased by exactly 3 units. And if I went by from 4 up to 7, I increased by exactly 3 units. Okay? And if I do the same thing but with my y value, I'm sorry, my x value is 5 units to the right, right? When I'm talking about left and right movement on a coordinate plane, that's a change in the x values. So let's try this again. Negative 1, I'm sorry, negative 6 to negative 1 is an increase of 5 units in the positive direction by 5. Negative 4 up to positive 1 is an increase of 5 units, and negative 2 up to 3 is an increase of 5 units. So it looks like instead of having to count boxes, when we're talking about transformations, uh, I'm sorry, translations, we can actually just add or subtract to my x and y values. An increase to the right would be an addition on the x value by that many units. And what do you think is going to happen if I go to the left? It looks like I'm going to subtract instead of add. Right? So if I change my rule and take all of this wordiness and I change it and say instead, let's just perform a translation of x plus 1 and y minus 4, what we're going to know is that I'm going to take each of my points okay, and I'm going to add 1 to the x. So that means that a prime is going to become add 1 would be negative 5, subtract 4 from negative 1 would be negative 5. Okay, B prime 
is going to do the same thing. I'm going to follow the same rule for every single one of my points. I'm going to add 1. It'll become negative 3. And I'm going to subtract 4, which would be negative 7. And my C prime, I'm going to add 1, which would be negative 1. And I'm going to subtract 4, which would be 0. So let's see where this ends up. Negative 5, okay, and up, uh, down 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's A prime. And then negative 3, down to negative 7. That's B prime. And C prime just goes negative 1, 0. Okay, there's C prime. Let's see if I can do this very nicely. Probably not, but we'll do our best. There we go. And again, if you notice, what happened was plus 1 took all of my points, and it looks like it moved them over to the right by 1. And then down 4, right, looks like it's subtracting from the y value by 4. So this whole idea of addition and subtraction to my x and y coordinates is going to dictate how far over to the left and the right we move. Right? So we can use these simple rules about adding and subtracting in order to change our values uh, and move the values using a translation.